Welcome to the Frey Flak Pack. It's Termex here, and welcome back to another Borderlands 3 video. And in today's video, I am going to be going over something... Something that's been going on for a while now, but I finally want to bring it into light because I've honestly come to the point where I'm just kind of sick of this happening, not only to me, but to other content creators on this platform. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, let me catch you up here. This is the concept of other creators ideas being stolen reused reworked in a way that is so obvious but other people take credit for and they will vouch their life off saying that this was their idea now this isn't the first time this has happened this has happened to me this has happened to chadley this has happened to thick fillet this has happened to moxie it's basically happened to any borderlands 3 youtuber i know of and the fact that it's happening to me so much in the short time i've been on youtube kind of shows you the type of people some content creators are and i'm not doing this video entirely to expose the people that are doing this but part of me wants to let you guys know that this is a real thing and don't let the size of your community determine whether or not it's okay to take your idea if i had 2,000 subscribers and this guy with 80,000 subscribers took my idea word for word used all of my information just to make a video just because you're a smaller channel doesn't mean you don't have the right to the content that you created. Of course, I'm not a big YouTuber on this platform, but I work hard for my videos. I'm not going to bullshit with you guys. I work hard for my videos to get the content out there for you guys. And I want to do new stuff and bring new things and ideas to this platform. And it just aggravates me. It really aggravates me when something that is your creation gets deemed somebody else's creation. And that's a story that we're going to be going over today. Now, if you guys don't know, before I took my little hiatus for a month because of the holiday break, and just to be honest with you, there's just been a lot of other games I have been playing. But over this hiatus, my last build video was my Phase Trap Flak build. Now, this build got great, great views and right now at the recording of this video it's sitting around 8,000 views and honestly that within itself makes me happy so thank you guys for that i'm excited you guys enjoy the builds but recently i was told on one of my community posts that my content was getting reused and traditionally i i just push this aside because if you're using my builds i don't really mind i put the save files out there for you guys to use them but this person commented and they said they're not just using your build, they're claiming it as their own. I'm like, okay, let's um let's go see what this particular person is doing. And this guy goes by the name of Oilers Gaming. He seems like a pretty chill dude. He seems like he has a cool personality, and he seems like he puts out some nice contents. I'm not one to shit on another person's channel because everyone's different. So I went over to the video that my subscriber told me about, and lo and behold, he was using my exact same save file. Now, if, if you don't believe this, if we look over to my class mod with this save, I'm running a God Butcher Bounty Hunter. Look at the rolls, look at the skills, splash damage, weapon damage, SMG damage, and now let's look over to his video with his splash damage, weapon damage, SMG damage, all in the same category. Now, one could say, oh, well, he just downloaded your save file and just used that with his own build, right? No. That is not what happened. <laughs> if we look over to his weapons, Tig's Boom. Both of the Tig's Booms I have in my save file. We look over to his Tizzy. Same exact Tizzy I have. We look over to his Corrosive Dark Army with Urad. Same exact weapon I have. We could even look at his character skin. Same exact character skin I have. Now you may go as far as saying, Term, Term, calm down, dude. People can use your builds, dude. Like, it's very similar, but that doesn't mean this is your save file. He didn't do that. Look at his Echo. He has the same exact Echo skin, the same exact character skin, the same exact inventory, and nearly the same exact amount of Iridium on the character. The same exact everything. I, bl I shit you nuts. Same exact everything. To give him credit, he added two weapons to the build. Good for you. I guess that legally makes it fine, right? You know what? No. You added two weapons to the build. You didn't add anything. And on top of that, I commented on his video saying interesting. I just said interesting. And then I commented, hey, is this my build? I simply asked that and my comment got deleted. It got deleted instantly. Now, I will give him credit where it's due. He's actually making his own thumbnails, his own intros, and he's putting out his own content, unlike some other YouTubers. <clears throat> but my big issue is he claimed the build as his own. 
even going to as far as in his description. I'll read it word for word. Well, I stopped neglecting Flack and took him for a spin with some new toys. My toys, apparently. Thanks to Borderlands 3 Designer's Cut, we got a four seal tree, and he says all of this. And now, I was looking for some sort of credit. I was looking to maybe see in the description, this is a build from It's Termex, or this is a build inspired by a different person. But that was nowhere to be seen. So after that, I wanted to do the nice thing and simply ask him. I saw that he had a Twitter on his channel, so I asked him on Twitter. I said, at Oilers Gaming, I recently was told about your new flak build that you claimed as your own. Yet is using my exact same save file upon inspection, which it was. Was this intentional or just a mistake? No hate. Just want to clear some things up before blowing it out of proportion or pointing fingers. Now, I wanted to come at this in a nice way because I'm not going to attack a youtuber just for using my build maybe a subscriber sent them a build and said yeah this is my build go ahead and use it and that happens a lot i've seen videos where people are like yeah i love this build i've been using it forever and a youtuber makes content about it and you're like hey 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 whoa that's my build but they didn't know that because a subscriber sent in a build but this is not what happened because lo and behold just shortly later after i send this tweet very nice tweet he blocks me on Twitter. Now, what reason did he have to block me on Twitter? I really don't know. He could have just simply responded in, Oh, my bad, dude. This build got sent in. If you want credit, let me know. But no, he didn't say that. He just straight up said, Whatever, it's Termex. I'm gonna block you because I know dang well. Just because you're a smaller creator doesn't mean you're gonna do anything. But this is what happens. Yes, he is a smaller channel than me. But I guarantee you this would not slide with Jolt's Dude's community. Killer Six's community or any other larger community when it comes to Borderlands because a lot of his other builds on his channel seem to be his own. Now I can't really inspect every single video to make sure of this but they seem to be his own. But what made him do this? Maybe he was simply at a shortage for builds and he decided to use mine but I'm now to the point where I fully believe that he just took this save file and tried to pull off the video as his own. What other reason did he have to delete my YouTube comments that were nice, to block me on Twitter instantly without even giving me a normal response as a person? He just simply said, hey, if he simply said, hey, my bad, I didn't know, I would have been fine. You could, if it's a mistake, it's a mistake. I mean, at the end of the day, we're just trying to have fun with builds here. My problem is when you take it to a point to where you make me seem like I'm the bad person, blocking me on Twitter, deleting my comments, like, who are you? Who are you? Like, why? Why do you? Why do people do this in the community? Now, Rassy Games did this a long time ago, and I didn't want to make a video about it because it wasn't a big deal. He wasn't really talking. He wasn't really claiming the videos as his, he was claiming the videos as his own. But I emailed Rassy Games privately, and he said, "Okay, I'm sorry. I'm gonna stop using your builds. I apologize. I won't do it again." That's how a conversation with somebody should be. He simply did that, and to this day, he has not reused any of my contents. And you know what? Th good job on Rassy's part, because he's making his own content now, I think. But he's not using my content like he used to. He used to just download my save file, download my thumbnail, and then post a video. But now, after confronting him in a nice way, I'm not trying to threaten people, he said, okay, I'm sorry, I won't do this anymore. But Oilers over here said, no, this... This is my build, and you're just no one, you know? And that's what made me do this. I want to... If you're in the comments right now, I know a lot of you aren't YouTubers, but I know some of you are out there. Anybody that believes you have a small audience, and what defines small audience is all within the eye of the beholder. Some people think 4,000 is small. Some people think 80,000 is small. It really depends on who you are. But any content creators out there that are watching this video right now, please... Take rights of your work. Take ownership of what you do. Because your content is your content at the end of the day. That subscriber number that some other person on the internet has means absolutely nothing when it comes to your content. Your content was made from your brain, your ideas, and you have a right to defend your content. Sure, there's not a legal thing telling you, hey, uh, you can't take my content because that's just not how YouTube works. I mean, unless... You have a copyrighted music video. That's not how that works. But blatantly taking somebody's content, claiming it as your own, and it not even 
confronting the person that has these claims against you, it's just fishy, man, you know? And I hate that I have to come back from my YouTube break on such a negative note here. And I don't mean this in any way negative to anyone that's downloaded my saves and posted them. If you download my saves and post them to share with your friends, I don't mind. Like, I don't even care if you shout me out in the description, but don't claim the build as your own like you put in all the effort for it because what what it tells me if you're being a youtuber that just takes other people's content you're not in it for youtube you're not in it to grow an audience and teach other people you're in it just for the views you're in it for the money you're in it for the things that you shouldn't be in it for since the day i've started this channel i've made borderlands 3 videos because i've always wanted to play borderlands 3. my my deep passion for borderlands Started back in the day watching Yodi Slayer and all the other different YouTubers, Nova, freaking Man of Low Moral Fiber, K6, Jolts Dude. That that's where my passion for Borderlands has stemmed since day one with this game, and ever since then, I love this series. And the fact that I see this, it just sucks. You know, a lot of you may be thinking that I'm just blowing this way out of proportion, but I always wanted to make content that was. Something that you can watch and you learn something. Something you could watch and you could critique. You could say, hey, this is cool, but I would like to do this. I like seeing communities come together, making builds, putting things together. And that's what I love most about YouTube. And that that's, that's really why I make these videos. And just because I quote-unquote exposed people that have done this doesn't mean you need to send hate their way. I, I really don't want hate to be sent their way. I don't want to be known as that guy that sends an army of people to go hate on people. But I just want you guys to know. I want you guys to learn. And I hope you guys understand. And if you could take one thing away from this video. It's the simple fact that. Back up your content. Your content is your content. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise. No matter how big or small you are. I don't care if you have 2 subscribers. I don't care if you have 30,000. But yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video. Hopefully there's no more drama with future Borderlands 3 videos. But if it happens you know it happens. And um, I hope you guys have a terrific day. Make sure you stay safe during these times because COVID is being a little bit more extreme all of a sudden. Even though the COVID vaccine came out, I I, I don't know if I'm going to take that vaccine. I might uh, I might uh, wait a little bit. I don't know. I really don't know. But you guys enjoy your holidays. This will probably go up a few days before Christmas. So I hope you guys have a great Christmas. I hope you guys get the things you want to get. And by the way, by the way, if you have Borderlands 3 and you don't know... Um, a lot of the DLC is probably going to be on sale over Christmas, so if you guys want to grab some of the DLC for very cheap over Christmas, it'll be a good time to do it. But hope you guys have a terrific day, and um, me and uh, my loader bot that I cannot give a name yet, we'll see you guys later.